Hey guys, in this video, we will learn how React custom hooks works. So, React has many uh, inbuilt hooks like use state, use effect, and so and so. And apart from that, we can create your custom hooks as well. So, if you have gone through this reactjs.org, there is one example, a stateful component example, and you can see this is a kind of ticker, a timer. So in this video, we will create a same timer using functional component as well as we will create our custom hook. Okay. So for that, I have created a simple app that is uh, using create react app and you can see on my screen, this is basic screen. Okay. So first of all, let's go to our app.js and First of all, let's delete all the HTML. I can add a fragment so we can add multiple HTML tags here. Okay, so nothing is there. And after that, we will add a simple uh, bootstrap. This is not compulsory, but I'm just adding it for look purpose. So uh, let's go to index.html and here you can add bootstrap.css okay fine so now let's go to our components there is one navbar component yeah there is navbar and you can simply copy and let's go to source folder and here you can create one more folder components so here you can add all the components you want. So first of all, we will create new.js and using a shortcut, you can create react functional component. You can create our uh, basic navigation component. Okay, so I will get rid of this unused content and use code. Okay, so now we can simply put fragment and let me remove the unnecessary html so this is not required here this is also not required we don't want any ulli okay, so now this is also not required okay so i think this is good and instead of class equal to it should be class name equal to so now I think we are good. Okay. So nothing will be there because we haven't used this navbar. So let's go to app.js and here you can import our new component. So you can see when I imported this component, it will automatically import this statement new from components new. Okay. So let me remove this. And now you can see we have simple navbar so uh, to make sure we have a good looking navbar let me add a dark navbar dark that is uh, data bs theme theme is equal to dark so it looks good so let's see how it looks it will be outside okay so now this looks good okay so this is not part of uh, any um, logic but to look simple and good i have added this okay so now next part is our timer component okay so let's create another component let me close this navbar and components timer dot and react functional component so i have uh, used one extension you can see uh, the extension name is es7 react redux style component snippets so using this component whenever i want to create a functional or uh, a class based component you can use a shortcut like react functional component and it will create functional component for you 
okay you will get a skeleton so you can also uh, declare uh, prop types default prop types and so and so okay so this is simple timer component okay so let me add this timer component in our app.js so timer and it should be fine so let me add something this is timer okay so it is important all right so uh, in this example you can see we have class based component we can uh, just copy this component and let me put it here and just using yeah because we need to import here import react so when you use class based component you need react component to be imported okay and export default imported timer not found okay so it should be timer yeah, default it should be export export default timer so now you can see once you reload it will start one two three four because uh, what you can see from here uh, when you call when you create the class and in JavaScript you have to use a constructor when whenever you have to pass any default values so in this example we are uh, setting state variable is seconds so on load the seconds variable value will be zero so on load it is zero okay after that we have created one function and in that function what we have done we have uh, we have select uh, updated we have set the state value using uh, this dot set state and uh, set the seconds value to state dot seconds dot one basically we are increasing the state value by one okay and using this component did mount this is a function that is called immediately after a component is mounted okay and uh, once you use it it will re-render our dom similarly you can use component will unmount so um, this is called immediately after the component is destroyed so in this example we have to use this this dot interval is equal to set interval is a javascript function that is uh, used to call a specific function for uh, number of intervals okay so here we have given one second and we are calling this dot tick so it will call this function tick function and it will set the seconds variable to plus one every second okay and in this component will unmount function we are clearing this interval so we can access this variable this dot state variable dot seconds in our html okay so this is how uh, class uh, class based uh, component is written so what we will do we will create a functional component instead of this class based component and to do so uh, what we will do we will uh, use functional component and let me remove this unnecessary declaration okay so in this uh, timer first of all what we will do we will uh, write some simple html so here in fragment we will add div class name container that is bootstrap class and you can write down h2 seconds and something here okay so it will look like this so my3 it will give some margin so here what we will do we will create uh, a variable using use state so use state is a hook that is provided by react so using use state variable hook you can initialize a default value and here 
we will use time and set time okay. so now let's simply console dot log to return uh, yeah we need to import this view state with real so we are fine now okay. so now let me reload so now you can see the time variable is zero because we have set initial value to zero let me change to 99 and you can see it is 99 so using use state hook it will return a stateful value and function to update it so this is a state variable for this timer component and to update this variable you can use this set time function okay so let me show you how you can do that so what we can do we can simply use this time variable in this so now we have default value 0 but you can't um, use set interval as you can see we have used this set interval directly into this component did mount function yes so in functional based component you cannot uh, use a direct uh, you cannot use directly this use interval uh, set interval function okay so what we can do we can use use effect okay so use effect is also a very useful uh, react uh, hook that is uh, useful when you have to avoid side effects of any component so let's see how this uh, use effect works before that we will create a custom hook uh, also what we can do yeah let's create custom hook so in source folder you can create hooks folder and you can um, create number of hooks in this specific hooks folder so first of all uh, our first hook will be now uh, you can give the name whatever you want i am giving interval dot js okay and in that uh, hook we will import a uh, few of the from uh, reference for our uh, hook and we will use set interval in this hook okay so to use this hook what we can do in our timer dot js we can uh, import but before import we can uh, we have to export okay so let's uh, start writing our function so first of all we will use export default uh, you can give a function name let's say use interval that is our function name okay and we can uh, use this as a ex default export okay so right now nothing is there so here what you can do import what you can import use interval from uh, what we have to do here from dot dot slash books slash interval okay so you can use this set interval function in your timer.js and this is interval dot js okay so we will use this function and how how you can use this function in our uh, timer dot js so if you remember or uh, if you know how you can use uh, set interval set interval function right so uh, let me is it should be set interval function set internal so set interval yeah so here what you do you return a function and in that function you can write down whatever you want the function body okay so basically what we will do we will update our state variable set using set time and time plus one okay but when you use set interval it will not work like this 
so in that case we will use use interval as a hook okay so let's see how this works so right now it won't work yeah there are errors but don't worry we will fix it so using this use interval hook we will update this state variable by one okay and every second okay so let's go to our function so first of all what we will do we will pass our uh, one callback function as a argument and delay a delay is a uh, number of seconds milliseconds okay so let's start creating first of all uh, we will save this uh, use ref first of all we will use 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 ref hook okay so use ref okay so to use this use ref constant we can use save um, let's give it name call so that is our function okay so what we are doing here initial value we are not passing anything and to use this use ref we have to import react from react and you have to use use ref okay so now you can use use ref so what we will do here we are um, using let's see how what use ref function do use ref hook so use ref returns a mutable reference object whose dot current property is initialized to the past argument the return object will persist for the full lifetime of the component okay so let's see right now if you log console dot log please call back save call back and you can see now there is nothing because uh, when you when you see the current dot current we haven't used this uh, using uh, we haven't uh, done any um, you can say uh, calculation or any manipulation on this reference variable okay so there is nothing for now okay so now what you have to do you have to use use effect hook okay so what this use effect hook do so using this use effect hook you can uh, you can avoid the side effect and let's say what we can do so here what you have to do you can use save callback dot current is equal to our callback function so right now this won't make much sense but it will be and as a side as a dependent uh, dependent uh, array you can use this callback okay so this is use effect now we have to set up our interval okay so to do that what you have to do we have to write down one function 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 name you can say tick tick is our function okay okay so now what we can do we can simply use this save callback dot current and call that so using this save callback dot current it will execute this uh, callback function okay all right and if using this delay variable if delay is not equal to null it means you have passed something in uh, this argument as this second argument in use interval okay so if delay is not equal to null uh, what you can do you can use set interval function set interval function will take one input uh, one callback function that is our tick function and delay that is um, that after how much delay you want to call this function okay and also you need to return because you are calling this function so using this you can clear interval and 
to use clear interval you have to pass one id here okay so now you can see we have set interval here using this tick function and also delay value is already there all right all right so now this complete body the function tick as well as this if condition you have to use use effect because uh, let me just pass out first so let me control x and you can pass here delay so now we have used to use effect here okay and uh, let's see let me log this so you can see so yeah use effect is not defined because we have it imported from react okay so now you can see now when you load first time you can see current value is undefined but after one second you can see current value is callback function and every time you see callback value has uh, sorry the current value has callback function okay so how this function how this use effect works let's see so first of all what we are doing we are using this set a uh, use interval function and this is our use interval function this takes one function as first argument that is set time and what is it is doing it is increasing this time variable by one okay so here in interval dot js what we are doing we are simply uh, using this callback function to call our current reference object so using this use effect you can call this callback and it will be a, it will be taken as dependent a dependent array dependency array okay and similarly this function will will be called every time this set interval function calls okay so you can see we don't use this react so you can omit that in timer.js this is fine app.js is also fine okay so you can see now one to every second it increases so if you want to change the delay you can change the value to 3 3000 it means 3 seconds so you can see the delay is now 3 seconds 1 2 3 so now it will change it will increment after every 3 seconds ok so in this example we uh, learn a little bit about how this hook works and whenever you want to use hook you can export that function and uh, similarly how you can create a component and export you can use this custom hooks in similar way okay so i hope you like this video if you find this video useful please subscribe to my channel and if you have any question any uh, suggestion you can leave your comments below also, uh, if you are new to my channel, please visit my channel. There are more than 200 videos on JavaScript, CSS and few videos are on WordPress as well. So, please subscribe and see you next time around. Bye.